So while I'm editing the tutorial for duct tape axe that some of you guys might have noticed at the end of the last couple of quick tips videos, um, or at least some of the videos, let's take another quick tip. It's relevant for weapons. Don't duck, be awesome. Wait, haven't we had this quick tip before? I'm pretty sure we have had it. Next, onward to the next one. Yes, another one. That being said though, don't duck, be awesome. Quick tip, always test your weapon, especially for weakness, you could seriously injure somebody. Yes, yes you could, you could seriously injure somebody and not only on their head points. And that's not something you want to do unintentionally. And not really intentionally really, because well, you don't want to break an arm or leg or poke an eye out on somebody intentionally. Doing, so doing maintenance on your weapons uh, is a really good thing, but also when you are buying weapons or making them yourself, uh, a lot of people think that when you buy a weapon, they are automatically approved. They are not. Ba bought weapons are kind of... Um, they, they still need to go through the same tests and uh, security checkups. Uh, but you could do that yourself if you want to. And if you find them in store, you could do it yourself. I think that a lot of you guys probably won't be able to find it. So you might need to order it online. It sucks a little, but you can still do these tests at home and see if they become ruined at a LARP event or between LARPs event and you need to fix them up or something like that. Some places don't allow certain types of weapons like latex weapon which I know some LARPs find too hard and Kalamazil um, or Kalamazil, how to pronounce it? You know that, you know that company. Um, their weapons are, some people also find these weapons a little too hard so they usually go with more buffer type or duct tape weapons. It all comes down to people's preferences. And I can understand why some people find these, or especially these, too hard. I think the Kalamazil Pirate Swords, though they're really pretty. I have to be honest, my own personal opinion on them, they hurt a little, like, very much. At least their older versions did. I haven't seen the newer versions. So, enough bitching about that. When you go out and buy a weapon, or if you make it yourself, you have to test the, the end of the weapons. Like here, if you have like a spade or shovel or staff, test it here. Can you actually, can you feel the core some places? Because you're not supposed to be able to feel the core. Can you twist the foam? You're not supposed to be able to twist the foam. And is it safe? Just in general. Kalmasil makes some pretty nice weapons, I'd just like to point that out. Uh, although I'm not really that keen on the closed foam thing, I, I much prefer the look of um, latex weapons, but get personal preference. On swords like these, you also want to test the, the end out here. You don't want to break it, but you do want to test how flexible it is and if it's broken or not. You can usually tell. Also, how far if you can feel the end uh, of the core down here, you're not able to, you shouldn't be able to do that. But all in all, the good weapons here. Second thing is that when you come home from a LARP, you might want to test out to see if something have actually gotten stuck in your weapon. I actually had this happen to this sword last time, uh, where I was running around in the forest, and apparently some bush got stuck in here. I think it was. Not a rose bush, but you know, where some thorns got stuck in uh, in the weapon out here, and actually pierced it. And I think it was like this size. It was pretty huge. The the stick I was able to like, yeah, dig out of it when I when I got home. But the good thing is you can't really see it right now, but it would be kind of sad if you hit somebody in the face with a sword like this and you didn't realize that hey, there's a part of a thorn bush inside the tip of this and uh, now it's in his face whoops so test this out guys test this out same thing applies to calamacil weapons or duct tape weapons homemade weapons anything like that you also want to make sure that if it gets wet you want to dry it out so it doesn't become moldy especially if you have something like a hammer or a bigger weapon it, it's really good it's, it's to just to see is there anything squeezed inside of this that's not able to be there or not supposed to be there? Then perhaps lay it somewhere where it can dry out and just be itself for a while so it doesn't become moldy or stinky or anything else that's really nasty or just become rotten or... 
Okay, so that was this quick tip. Remember also to apply some silicone spray if you have it for your latex weapons. It's not really that important. Well, okay, maybe a little, because if you don't do it, it's gonna get ruined and it's gonna stick to other latex weapons and you're gonna probably just lost, lost a lot of money on a really beautiful weapon that ends up looking really, really sad and really bad. So, some silicone spray is probably a good idea too, but not really a security necessary thing. But uh, if you have any quick tips or if you have any tips or tricks like this or any other love advice, leave them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you a lot later. Bye.